Hi guys, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this. A square pyramid, 35 mm sides of base and 65 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges of the base which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree. According to this one has to construct a square pyramid the square, top view is going to be a square of 35 by 35 and for which the line thickness is 0.5 and it should be a continuous line the height and width is going to be taken as 35 angle as 0 one has to construct the square in the edge and after which to get the axis position the diagonal should be drawn but since it is a pyramid the diagonals will be drawn as a dark line which is going to represent the slant edges and then make use of 0.13 mm thickness project all the points that is axis position as well as the corner position till the xy line and then the axis position is further extended in the vp for a height of 65 because the height of the uh, pyramid is given as 65 and this is going to be the axis line which is represented by a chain line and then using a line command with 0.5 mm thickness the front view is going to be completed as a triangle like this and then make use of a smart dimension show that the size of the square is 35 and height of the pyramid is 65 then make use of a line command and start naming the corners as a b c and this is going to be d and the apex axis position as o as well as o1 o1 and afterwards here it will be taken as b dash as well as a dash and then this will be o1 dash and then we have c dash as well as d dash now after completing these things we will mark the apex position as o dash now according to the given condition the axis is inclined to hp at 45 degree now the base is supposed to be rotated at an angle of 90 minus 45 so go for a move command move with respect to the corner c dash d dash it is going to be rested on the hp properly once again then go for rotate command rotate the base at an angle of 90 minus 45 so that is the 90 minus theta 45 degree then make use of angle between command using angle between command show that the axis is inclined to HP at an angle of 45 degree. Then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13. One can draw the projectors from the respective corners to draw the front view in the second stage. Sorry, top view in the second stage. Then once all the cor necessary corner projectors has been drawn from all the respective corners, then we have to name the respective corners using the text command. Now make use of the text command. This corner will be A, this corner will be B, and this corner will be C, and this corner will be D, and this will be O, and this will be O1. Now, I will take this B and C outside, and D is also outside like this. And then, make use of a line command complete the boundary. Now, using 0.5 mm thickness with uh, A, joined to B, C, O, D and A. Now we have to identify whether the base is visible or not. Now the apex is nearer to the observer henceforth base will be invisible. The base edges must be drawn as invisible edges. But the three base edges is on the boundary only DC will be represented as invisible edge. Now inside the invisible edges whatever the uh, slant edges which are passing either partially or completely must be visible that is a to o and b to o must be always a visible edges now o to o1 is an axis line to be represented here so that i will delete and redraw the line over there that is from this position to here i will draw a separate line so using the text command sorry line command I will draw a separate line here and a separate line here but these things are supposed to be in the 0.13 mm thing and this is an axis line we will represent it in the form of a chain line. Now one can say that the second stage is completed in all aspects. 
Now in the next stage, the line DC is inclined at us. The base edge which is in VP is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Now the resting edge is CD is inclined at 30 degree to VP. Now using a line command, one can construct an inclined line. Now the inclination of this line with respect to VP is supposed to be set for an angle of 30 degree. Now the line DC is supposed to be on the 30 degree line. For which one has to select the front view. Go to a command called as move. Move in such a way that D is going to be repositioned on the 30 degree line. And then go for a rotate command. Make sure that D is on the 30 degree line. And C will command sit on the 30 degree line like this. Now after which make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 mm. Project the respective corners. So C is going to be connected up to XY line. And D is also connected up to XY line. And O1 is going to be connected to this location. And then B is going to be connected to B, uh, B dash. And then along with B dash we have A dash. So we will finish the A dash. And the remaining position is the apex point. The apex will be connected to the apex properly. Now after completing these things, then make use of the text command start giving the names. This has O dash. And this will become A dash. This will become B dash. And this will be C dash and this is going to be the D dash. Now after giving the namings, complete the boundary. Now make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter. Start the corner joining from A dash to O dash then to C dash and then to D dash back to A dash which is going to form the boundary line. Now identify whether the base is visible or apex. Now according to the observer base is nearer to the observer. Henceforth base edges are visible, apexes away from the observer and nearer to the x y line. Now the base edges must be visible and darken the base edges with the help of 0.5 mm thick line. Now one can see that these lines have been completed. Now the slant edges has to be represented. How to represent the slant edge? The slant edge if it is passing inside the visible base, it must be invisible. Now the D dash to O dash is going to be the invisible and O dash to A dash is going to be the visible line because it is passing outside the visible edge. Now the remaining portion is the axis. Now axis has to be represented in the chain line with 0.13 mm as a thickness. The axis O dash to O1 dash has to be connected. Now using the text command we have forgot to write the O1 dash. We will write the O1 dash. So one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects. Now, if you have any sort of doubts, please feel free to contact me. And please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also share this video to all your first year engineering students. And thank you once again to watching this video.